Hello family, how are you? I hope all of you are doing great wherever you are. I hope all of you are happy with your families or with your friends, whoever you are with today. I hope that you are truly happy despite all of these madness that's going around, all the bullying that Megan is receiving. I hope that you are truly happy just wherever you are. Now today we are going to talk about what Megan said in one of our episodes of Archetypes which was titled the decoding of crazy and the critiques that she received from the obvious bully who is Piers Morgan who doesn't know that he is a bully and also uh, Jordan Peterson and what they said about Megan's podcast. Now these people are really bullies and they are obvious racist. No one doesn't know that. It's so obvious by the way they talk. And everything that they say, they're just all over Megan and saying bad things about Megan. I don't understand why they always trash Megan, but they still run every Tuesday. They run there to listen to her podcast. And this can't be anything, but it's purely obsession and it's really sickening. How can you say that you hate someone, but you still run there to listen to their podcast every Tuesday? You're like, oh, today's a Tuesday. Um, I have to listen to Megan's podcast to see what she's talking about. Today. So I can go to my show or wherever to talk about what she was saying. It's really sickening and I don't even know what type of obsession that is. Piers Morgan, first of all, um, went on a TV show in the UK and he was almost crying because of how Megan did not call him back. This man is really sick and he's really obsessed with Megan. I don't know if he can see that or he's just doing it for the for the shows or for the ratings in his show, but he's really obsessed with Megan and it's clear of what he's doing. Um first of all, Megan is being an easy target for all these bullies and racist people because she's biracial and that's very true. Megan again does a very good job in everything that she does we all know how of a gorgeous person she is how outspoken she is how ambitious she is like she's always chasing her dreams and doing the best that she can for her family and for for her kids for her husband just to be able to provide for her family but these people can't rest they're always there looking at megan seeing what she's doing always ready to criticize whatever she's doing it's really sickening it's it's just disgusting to me what they're doing to Megan. During the podcast, Megan said, Raise your hand if you've been called crazy or hysterical or what about nuts? Insane? Out of your mind? Completely irrational, okay? You get the point. She continued to say that, Calling someone crazy or hysterical completely dismisses their experience and minimizes what they're feeling. That is very true. And then she kept saying that, it keeps going to the point where anyone who's been labeled it enough times can be gaslit into thinking that they're actually unwell, sometimes worse, to the point where real issues of all kinds get ignored. Well, that's not happening today. Many people don't really know this, but for sure, Megan's words are true. Like, words that people say can really get to someone's mind. People may see it as small things or maybe just little comments that someone says to you thinking that they're not that heavy. But uh, the human mind is really interesting. Like You can really take small words, the little comments that you say and make it up to be something big. And the same narrative keeps repeating itself in someone's brain. Someone keeps thinking of the things that you say to them and it damages them mentally. It can really destroy someone mentally or even physically just the way they think about themselves or because of the things that you said and so megan's words are true and going back to the main purpose of megan's podcast was to explore and subvert the labels which try to hold women back okay to say there was nothing wrong with megan using um jordan P peterson's audio describing women as crazy no one would like to be described as crazy under any circumstance no matter how you act or uh, just the way you are no one would like to be described as crazy now can we see what pierce morgan and jordan peterson were talking about in in pierce morgan's show uh in the in the in the video it was titled that megan markle grates on me 
Now, can we go ahead and see what these two twisted men had to say on Piers Morgan's show? The video was titled that Meghan Markle grates on me, and those were Jordan Peterson's words. And out of all the topics that Piers Morgan could have chosen, he chose that Meghan Markle grates on me. This clearly shows that without mentioning Meghan's name in his titles of the of the shows, he knows that his shows won't sell. Piers Morgan knows that. That's why he's very keen to always put Megan's name at the title of his shows because he knows that with Megan's name uh, up there, he's going to get views. People are going to rush there and see what he's talking about. But it's very sickening. It's very bad of Piers Morgan to continually do this day after day, bullying a woman, yet she has done nothing wrong. Megan has done nothing wrong. She's out there living her life. She's out there providing for her family. She's out there living her best life. Yet, Piers Morgan is always after her, just looking for something to accuse Megan of. Personally, I don't really understand what Piers Morgan wants from Megan. What does he really want from Megan at this point? Because she's no longer in the UK. He shows her in the UK. She, Megan is no longer in the UK. She has moved on. She has gone to us and she's happy there yet he's always there putting up megan's name on his shows it's just disgusting it's utterly disgusting to say let's see what these two men were talking about in their discussions first of all piers morgan asked jordan peterson what do you make of it appearing on megan markle's podcast as a villain you hear that he said that what do you make of it appearing on megan markle's show as a villain did Megan really display um, Jordan Peterson as a villain? She did not. In fact, Megan just put out a, on an audio of Jordan Peterson saying that I don't think that men can control crazy women. That was the audio that Megan played of Jordan Peterson saying that you can't control crazy women. And now Pierce Morgan goes ahead to ask Jordan Peterson that what do you make of it appearing on Megan's Markle podcast as a villain? Megan was just calling out Jordan Peterson for who he was and the words that he'd used. She was not portraying him as a villain or whatever Piers Morgan was saying. This is clearly all just to make Megan look bad. Really, that's just how it comes out in all these things that Piers Morgan and his colleagues keep talking about. And uh, Jordan Peterson went ahead to say that the first thing that I would make of it is that her voice grates me. Uh, with the same falsehood the same falsehood that harry's voice grips with again he did not answer the question the only thing that he ran to say was that uh, her voice grates him with with the same falsehood that kamala harry's voice grips with why did he first of all have to drag in kamala harry's she was not the topic here they were talking about megan and then he just ran over and mentioned kamala out of nowhere do you see something going on here or am I just the only one who's seeing as a pattern? It's like he's just pulling out these women who are biracial and accusing them of stuff which are very false. What falsehood is he talking about? What false statements or what, what false things has Megan or Kamala to say? It is them. It is Piers Morgan who's a lie. He's always a lie. He's always there telling people how Megan has done this, Megan has done that. And it's always lies. You should say that in the face of Piers Morgan himself and not say that Megan and Kamala Harris are liars. They themselves are the liars. Piers Morgan and Jordan Peterson are the liars themselves and they should be just blasted out because of their lies. Jordan Peterson went ahead to say that it is very difficult for women to control female antisocial behavior and females who are antisocial. That female pattern is reputation salvaging under the guise of compassionate care and it's extraordinarily destructive. So I stand by my words. Like the audacity, the audacity of Jordan Peterson to continue saying after he said that some women are crazy. He's saying that he's standing by his words saying that it is difficult for women to control behavior which is seen as antisocial like how can he say that about women considering that he has a mother like how can you really talk about women in such kind of manner so just because people have emotions and people can 
talk about how they feel and just be who they are is when you are allowed to call them crazy and say that they can't control their behaviors like it's truly crazy this is bad i don't care what people say but this doesn't look good it doesn't look good in any way these two men pierce morgan and jordan peterson they have no respect totally they have no respect for women in any kind of way they are always they are trashing people trashing megan pierce morgan first of all who doesn't know pierce morgan for the bully he is he is a true bully he is the biggest bully that i know as of right now it's as if his show was built to just bully megan if he doesn't talk about megan i don't know maybe his show will go down or something this is just bad it's just really bad and it makes me feel sick to my stomach so they are not happy because of being called out for what they truly said for their bad words that they used they are not happy because uh, people know that they call out women badly saying bad things about women now they are not happy because this all is coming out to light and they are very angry going out on tv shows to trash women it's bad it's really bad it's clear that these men don't really want to see uh biracial or black women winning because what's common between Kamala Harris and Megan both of them are biracial and both of them are women who are winning who are trying to make a living for themselves these are hard working women and whenever Pierce Morgan sees that he's really afraid and he has to trash them he has to talk bad about this kind of women this shows that he is scared of women he is scared of black or biracial women the fact that it doesn't look good for him and yet he continues to do that is what surprises me he doesn't care about what people say because of what he is doing or whatever he is talking about because he continues to do it anyway it scares me as much as it also like it really makes me feel bad at the same time but no matter what Piers Morgan and his colleagues say or whatever they are going to do Megan is always going to win because she's a winner she's a very amazing woman she's a hard working woman like she's all of the good things that other people are jealous about that's why they are always trashing her and that is never going to change Megan is an absolutely wonderful human being and they i think that the reason they always trashing megan is because they want to be even a little bit of whatever megan is they want to be that little of what megan is and they can never be that that's why they are so jealous always trashing megan and talking bad about her well bad news for you karens and all these races megan is always going to win and you are always going to be there watching crying talking about her but she is always going to so and even reach much greater heights than anyone has ever imagined we all love megan we believe in her and we are always praying for her we hope that she's just happy wherever she is after moving out of the uk she's happy with her family in the us they may continue talking about her but she's going to so she's going to like really succeed and be happy in everything that she's going to do because no one can bring her down you know that about megan she's never going to be brought down because of what people say we all love her so much and we wish her the best and for you also our listeners wherever you are we are really grateful that you're always supporting megan and always supporting us it means the world to us it means the world to me personally and i just wish happiness to you all wherever you are and i say thank you for always being here for us thank you for always being here well with this podcast what do you think about whatever Pierce Morgan and Jordan Peterson were saying I'd really love to hear your comments on the comment section below and please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and uh, for those who haven't subscribed remember to subscribe to our channel let's grow our subscribers this is a family who love one another we always love let love win because we love Megan and we are always here for love so let our family grow and we love you so much people thank you so much thank you so so much so with this and so much more thank you for watching this video remember to like and subscribe to our channel thank you so much goodbye